लाइक माई वीडियो शेयर माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द वीडियो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई एम बैक विद यू इन द मैथमेटिक्स बेसिक क्लास विच इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एच सी एफ द मीनिंग ऑफ एच सी एफ इज हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर ऑफ टू और मोर नंबर इज द हाइएस्ट और द लार्जेस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर ऑफ टू और मोर नंबर एच सी एफ That is highest common factor. Highest common factor. Here, if we are finding out the HCF of two or more numbers, there are three methods. How many methods are there in finding the HCF of given numbers? There are. Three methods to find out the HCF of given numbers. Which are the methods? They are the first one is listing the. The first method is listing the factors. Listing the factors. The second one is prime factorization method. Prime factorization method. the prime factorization method the third one is division method the third one is division method the third one is division method now let let me take an example and i'll do now example 18 and 24 are two numbers now i have to find out the hcf of these two numbers now which method i have to choose now i'll choose the first method that is listing the factors method how to list the factors of the given numbers now the first number is 18 i have to write the factors of this 18 factors means in which table this 18 will come yes 18 will come in two table three ta three table six table nine table and 18 table okay then in the same way 24 factors of 24 also we have to write that is 2 3 4 6 1 Eight three za, then twelve two za, twenty four one za. Like this, these all are the factors of twenty four. Now, just we have to observe these all factors and find out the common factors among those. Which are the common factors? See now, here also two is there, here also two is there, here also three is there, here also three is there. Here. Here also six is there. Here also six is there. So now, therefore, we have to write here common factors. Common factors. Which are the common factors among these two factors? Now, two, three, six are common factors among these two sets of numbers. Now, in this. Highest or the largest common factor six is the largest common factor. Therefore, H C F of eighteen and twenty four is six. This is what listing the factors method. Finding the H C F by listing the factors method. Now let me do the same HCF by prime factorization method. The same number I'll take that is eighteen and twenty-four. I'll take and I'll find out the HCF of same numbers by prime factorization method. Okay. Now I'll take here two. Why? As a divisor, I'm taking here two. Why? Because these two are even numbers. These two numbers are divisible by two. Now two nines are, 
and two twelves are. Now I cannot take two here as a divisor. Why? Because one is odd number, one is even number. Now we have to just observe the numbers and take here three because these two numbers are divisible by three and three is also a prime number. So three threes are and three fours are. Now I have to stop here. Why? Because here these two numbers will not come in any of the same table. That means here one among these is prime number and one is even number. Now I have to stop here. Then therefore, HCF of eighteen and twenty-four is two into three is equal to six. Same answer we got. Even if I do the listing the factors method also, I got the HCF as six. Even if I follow the prime factorization method also, I have got the same answer. Then the next method is division method. That method will not come in the basic maths. That you learn in the higher classes. That I will come with that method in the next video. Hello students. Let me solve the next example of three numbers. Example six, eight, twelve. Here there are three numbers. Now I have to find out the HCF of these three numbers. HCF of these three numbers. Now I am finding out with both of the methods. Which are the both methods? Listing of the factors and also the prime factorization method. Okay. First listing of the factors method. See, first number is six. Now two, three, six are the Factors of this number. Then eight, two, four, eight are the factors of this number eight. Next twelve. Which are the factors of the number twelve? Two, three, four, six, and twelve. Then what we have to do next now? Now just we have to observe these three sets of numbers. And find out which is the common among those. You see, two is common. Yes, two is common. And three, but three is not here. Four and four is here, but not here. So just what it is? Therefore, common factors. Common factors here. Yeah? Common factor is only one. That is two. If there are two or more numbers in one number, means we can just compare and take the highest one. Now there is only one number is common, means that is only the HCF. Therefore, HCF of six, eight, and twelve is two. The same I do with the prime factorization method. Yes, which are the numbers six, eight, and twelve are three numbers. Now I have to find out the HCF of these three numbers by prime factorization method. Since all these three are even numbers, now let me take the divisor as two, two threes are, two fours are, and two sixes are. Now see here three, four, six. In this. Which is odd number? Three is odd number, and this is not divisible by two. Other two are even numbers, so I cannot proceed next. I have to stop my process here only. Therefore, H C F of six, eight, twelve is two. Even though the methods are different, answer is same. Okay, students. In the previous session. You came across the concept of LCM. In the present session, you have learnt about the HCF. Okay. In the next video, I will come with the concept of fractions.